All right, hey there students. In today's video, I'm going through five practice problems with the income statement. So this will be a mix of multiple choice and short answer. I will show you my tips and tricks to go through these questions just like if you were on the exam to make sure you get to the right answer. Let's get into it. So I apologize, I have a little cold today, but I'm gonna do my best here to get through the video just to make sure I'm putting out valuable content for everyone. Please like and subscribe, it really does support the channel and I'll be going through each problem one by one here. So Thompson's Toys Inc. reported 135 grand in net income. So always circle the number and underline the actual um, term next to it. The company recorded revenues, so we have revenues here of 1,050,000, expenses of 480, and they paid dividends of 22,000. Well, I do know what they're asking at the very end, what is the net income? And dividends don't really come into play, so we're actually gonna cross that out. It's not needed. In addition, it recorded 320,000 in assets, also not needed, and liabilities. The reason why is because these go on the balance sheet, not the income statement. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them there. Now the tax rate, that is important. It's gonna be 20%. So the question here is, what is the net income? Well, the formula, if you remember, for net income is revenue minus expenses. And that's gonna be something we call your income before taxes. So I'll just say B for taxes. Then subtract out your income tax, and that equals net income. Fairly simple. So they did give you 135K in net income in 2020, but they're asking for 2021. So actually, we can get rid of this as well. It's not needed. This will happen all the time on exams. They give you a lot of extra information you don't need. It's your job to go in and figure out what do you need, what don't you need, and eliminate um, what you don't need. So that, that way it's not in the way. You don't use any numbers by accident. So let's plug in some numbers. So we have over here, we have 1,050,000. So that's gonna be your revenue. Expenses, 480. We get that number. Let's go ahead and do some math. 1,050,000 minus 480,000. So I get 570. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this there so it's not in the way, 70,000. Income tax, well remember it was 20%. So we just multiply this number times 20%. And there we are. And that's going to equal 114,000 income tax. We subtract that from the 570. And we get a 456,000. Zero, zero, zero. That is your net income. And that's easy. It's going to be letter D right here. Okay, let's take a look here at the next problem. Champion Corp began 2021 with retained earnings, 155. Before I continue, let me remind you of something here. At the very bottom here, it's actually very good to see what question are they asking for first. What was the company's revenue for the year? So we know we're looking for the revenue. And to figure that out, we're actually using some algebra, but let's keep going here and I'll see what we need. The company issued 375k of common stock. Well, we're looking for revenue, and I can tell you right now, we're not actually not going to need this number. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of it. It recorded expenses of 900k and paid dividends of 70k. So dividends. Champions ending RE is 195. Okay. So I can tell you what now we're going to use right now is something called the retained earnings formula. So I'll call it the RE formula. Ah. Whoops, having trouble there, sorry. Okay. Beginning retained earnings. So we're going to start 
we're going to add in our net income and we're going to subtract out our dividends and that's going to equal ending retained earnings right there that's the formula so let's just plug in what we know we know it began 2021 with retained earnings of 155 so we're just going to go ahead and plug that in 155,000 now net income we don't know it however we can figure it out they did tell us that our expenses were 900k expenses so we don't know our revenue that's what we're looking for it's one of these numbers here you have to take revenue minus expenses right and that equals your net income so we can't figure out net income unless we have our revenue, which we don't have. We'll have to plug that in later. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to divide this out. I'm just going to say this is also equal to revenue minus expenses, your net income. But we don't know that right now. However, we do know expenses. So we put it's a negative number of 900000 So we're looking for revenue. Do we know dividends? We actually do. It says we paid out 70K in dividends. So we're actually going to subtract that as well. Ending retained earnings, we do know. It tells us 195,000. So positive. So that's what we're looking for here. We got to figure out this number. Now, I've always found it's hard to do top to bottom, to be honest. I prefer to do left to right because I like algebra. I'm going to move this over just a smidge here. I'm going to do some algebra. I'll show you what I do. So I know that beginning retained earnings is here. We're going to use 155000 That's what we start with. And this is the basic formula. It's going to be beginning retained earnings, we call it BRE, plus revenue minus expenses, right? Because that's, that's basically net income, minus dividends equals ERE, ending retained earnings. Hopefully you're following right now. So. Let's go ahead and plug in what we know. I like left to right, like I said. Maybe that's just me, but we're going to add in our revenue, which we don't know. We're just going to put a question mark. However, we do know expenses. 900000 Subtract out dividends. And let me just erase that there. We already wrote that in. Dividends was equal to 70000 Equals... One, nine, five. I'll just put K, shorten it down. Now we solve for the question mark. What do we do? Well, in basic algebra, you know, on the left, on the right, right, you see some minuses on the left. To get this variable by itself, we have to move things over to this side, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Negative 900,000, what do we do to get on that side? We add it. So I'm just going to put some ads here, 900,000, and I'll put 900K. Same with 70,000, we added 70K. So let's get this number now. We're just going from uh, bottom to top. So I get a pretty big number. It's going to be 1,16500. Okay, we've eliminated these two options here, and now we're just down to 155 and the question mark. Well, this is a positive 155. So to get it over here, have to subtract. And again, I'm going from bottom to top here. Hopefully you're following. Subtract 155. And I get a number on this side. I'll just put a little arrow. 1,0010, and we actually got rid of the 155. So what did we get? We got the missing piece of the puzzle, revenue.
one million zero one zero. So that's what I like to do it. I'm an algebra guy, I like left to right. I top to bottom just confuses me, but if you could have done it this way as well, more power to you. Let's go back over. We know our revenue was equal to one million zero one zero. And there's our answer. Letter B. All right, that was definitely a long one. Take a little break if you need to and we'll continue. Okay, next problem. So Champion Corp had the following accounts on their trial balance. So this is before you do uh, usually most of the statements, but for this one, just think about these are the balances. Dividends, AR, property, plants and equipment, sales revenue, cost to get sold, marketing expenses, common stock, admin, and the tax rate. They're looking for the gross income and the net income. So what do we know? We know formulas. Let's do the first one, which is gross income. Always write down the formula. It's a lot easier. Revenues minus, uh, actually, this is not expenses. It's cost of goods sold. That equals gross income, or GI. So revenue. Well, we have it. Eight, six, seven. There it is, number four. So that's what we use. Cost to get sold, number five, 422,000. We subtract out, 445,000. So that's gross income, GI. Net income, well, we can do it again. Or we just take our GI, which is our gross income, and now we're subtracting out our admin, and our marketing. Let's do that first. Scroll up here and we can just scoot down. So, gross income, we just move it over, right? We just solved that problem, no reason to do it again. Subtract out admin. Well, admin is right. There, 56,000. Marketing, 30,000. This is actually going to be what we call our operating income. Subtract that out. 359. Now we take this number and get our income tax. We'll call it IT for short. And there it is, 22%. Take that number times 0.22. For 22%, 78, 890. This equals net income. Subtract those two numbers. And you get 2. 80,000. Not too bad. Went through and actually figured out what belonged. If you notice, these don't belong. You'll see this all the time. Let's get rid of them. Why? <laughs> BS. It stands for balance sheet. That's why. And we're not touching it. We don't need that to get the net income or gross income. Let's go to the next problem. Okay, next problem here. So. During 2021, Champion had sales discounts of 40K, sales returns of 18K. That means that people had a discount on the sale or they returned their sale. It's important to, to know this, you'll see in a sec. Cost of goods sold, 420. Gross income, 145. What is the sales revenue? This will be another kind of algebraic problem to get to the right answer. So. It's asking for sales revenue. So sales revenue, I always call it SR, is always at the top. Then you subtract out your sales discounts and your sales returns. And this equals something called net sales. From here, we subtract out cost of goods sold and that equals our gross income. Let's plug in what we know to get to the answer. So we know gross income, it says 145.
cost of goods sold. We do know it's four twenty thousand. Now, what we can do is work backwards. We know that net sales minus four twenty is one forty five. So how do we get to net sales? We just go backwards. We take one forty five and we add four twenty to work from bottom to top. And we get to five sixty five thousand. Now, we do have returns and discounts. So we know the returns is negative 18,000. Discounts is 40,000. So the same concept. To get from net sales up to sales revenue, you add these back. 565 plus 18,000 plus 45,000. Up, oh, messed that up. 565. Plus 18,000 plus 40,000. And we get 623,000. And that's our answer. So it's like algebra. The most important part is knowing the formula. You have to know the formulas to this stuff. Very important to know. Let's go to the next problem. Okay, so this last one's a little bit easier, more of just a conceptual problem, but which of the following are contra sales accounts? I'm going to plug in my computer as well. Dine. Which of the following are contra sales accounts? Well, what does contra even mean? Contra means like opposite. Opposite of sales, meaning it reduces it subtracts. Well, sales revenue is sales revenue, so there's no way it's contra. Marketing expenses, is that contra to sales? No, that's just an expense. It's, it, it does reduce it, but later. It's not considered a contra account, it's just an expense account. Sales returns, that's going to be our best answer because it reduces sales to get to uh, net sales is what it's called. The formula, we just went through it. We'll go through it again. Minus sales discounts, minus sales returns. That's net sales. Call it NS. Ah, there we go. So that's our best answer. Gross income is also not contra. It's just what's equal after cost of goods sold. And there we go. So I went through five practice problems and solutions for the income statement. Very important stuff. There is actually more practice problems and bonus videos on how to solve them on my website, accountinguni.com. Now, depends on when you're seeing this video. The site might not be up yet. I am building it. But if it is up, go ahead and check it out and see if you would like to have more practice problems like this. Have me go through it. In addition, there's lots of really great cheat sheets on the site that will help you with your accounting. If you like this video, please subscribe, like. It really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.